contemporary community and we see how the interaction with the Europeans influence the way of life and the present. Now, welcome back to my search for freedom. We are always bringing you some good videos about Africa on this channel. Remember to subscribe, to share, to like, and to comment our videos. Today, we are going to visit Elmina Castle. But before, our tour guide will take us through the town of Elmina to show us some historical sites. Now it's time for us to start the walk. We are going to cross the bridge and on the other side of the bridge, as you can see, there are some fishermen awaiting to go fishing a little during the evening. And the catch includes all sorts of fish. So you can mention herring, sardines. The buildings that you are seeing on the other side of the bridge were built during the colonial era. During the walk, it was very hot, but it wasn't bothering us because it was fun to go through the town of Elmina. Another example of a building built during the colonial era. As you can see, this building is an example of how the colonial buildings' architectures are different than the Galleons. And what you are seeing here is the Dutch cemetery, which is located in the center even of the town. And also behind, on the hilltop, you can see a church and also a house, which is called Mission House. On the way back to go visit the Elmina Castle, Carlin and Miriam were having fun on the street of Elmina Town. This is, the, this is our reality, this is our heaven. Now we are in the Elmina Castle, just before we enter inside to go visit. He was briefing us on what to expect inside. We'll let you enjoy the visit now. This was a professional. Oh, that's a professional, that's why. Yes, the You tell your sins to the priest. Yeah, you tell your sins to the priest. Right. And this was their sacristy, where they were keeping the wine and the chalices. In the chalices, all, yeah. Okay. All these things, yes, yeah. So, we are in the Baptist church. Now we are in the Each so, place is. So, sir, yes. the point oh. of no returns really meaning what? That means you don't come back. That's it. Yes. Exactly what it's what it said. Yeah. What it means. Yes. Mm -hmm. No return. Yeah, meaning so you, you go through here, you don't come back. Back to, to, uh, to your homeland. To your yeah. place of origin. Uh, oh, you come, you come back. Okay. Meaning, you that's it. Whatever country Africa. they take you, yeah. that's it. That's where you get, you, you're going to yeah. So, like people like migrate. us, yeah. Osley, the one that they ended up here yeah. in Africa. You know what I'm saying? The one, the few slaves that went to the Caribbean yeah, when I was in America. Because of the intermarriages, it will be difficult to tell whether your ancestor or my ancestor. And so, uh, in a way, I think it is not fair uh, for our diasporan brothers and sisters to perceive those of us here that 
and our ancestors lived here and you were taken. Uh, the fact is that it will be very difficult to tell because you don't know who is involved. Well, well, your cousin could have been gone, yeah, your aunt, uh -huh. your grandmother, so, and even though you stay behind, yeah. your family, your husband, well, not blood, your husband is not blood, your kids could have been taken away and you're still here. So yeah, you separate uh -huh. somehow. Uh -huh. yeah. So it is difficult to tell, <coughs> so we need to think a bit further when we are making such uh, points. Now we are entering the room where our some of our ancestors were rebellious. Uh, they were using that room as a prison to punish them. Africans have a strong spirit and there are some who will vote they will not allow themselves to be captured and all that. So, um, uh, we are the, yeah, they, they are the revolutionaries. What's the difference between this so, one and you? Okay, so the European one has air. This one, when you close it, there is no air. Oh, no. So oh. they were brought in here and they were starved to death. Yeah, that is why uh, there is no air. So this is their only source of air, as we see. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of time before yeah. they die. Yeah. And they put a lot of people body on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, they put a lot of people because uh, since you know, they keep on revolting, yeah, to scare the others from revolting, yeah. they, they will bring you here. The pregnant woman has more value than the woman. You know that? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. You know. But you can surpass my business. I'm going to go to you. Bye bye. Um, so the female captives were kept here. You see, uh, the Europeans were dying of yellow fever and malaria. And there was no. What did you do? This is where they used to keep the women and their children. All together, so far, three, right? Say again. Three dungeons, three female. Yeah, three female dungeons and male ones. So these children you talk about, those are people that came pregnant while they were here, mm -hmm. or they captured these people? Captured children. children. Yeah, captured children. With them out? Yeah. With the family? Yes. And the church, when we went, is just happening. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Did you tell them that a pregnant woman, Kathy, is worth more than a... That's what... Um, actually, I saw that the European did not want to encourage child birth among the parties here. Okay, see, that, that, was some, that was from Canada, but one of this is, find that the woman is worth more because you have a captive and a boy and a child ready to be born. So you know, the two for the rest. At this time, we are going to enter the last room, the door of no return. That's where some of our ancestors went through before they were shipped 
to the new world or to the Americas, once they went through the door, there is no way of returning. Remember to subscribe, to like, to share our videos. Next year, in January 2025, we will have another trip in West Africa. I invite you, if you are interested to be part of the trip, please contact us by email or in the comment section. Thank you. See you next time.